Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen? I'm back with another awesome Transformers review and today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Rat Trap. And uh, there he is. He's more of a, I would say a mouse. Looking like a mouse uh, for being this size uh, as, the, as the toy itself. Um, you can see the arc right there in the background. With rat, ugh, ugh, excuse me. With Rat Trap right here running across on top on the artwork. Very nice. Transform War for Cybertron Trilogy. He's a core class. And uh, on the back, you got your obligatory product shots. So, yeah. And he's War for Cybertron uh, Kingdom 2. Like, 2 in the wave. So, hopefully, uh, if we, uh, some, some collectors just don't go by the numbers before they open them up. So, <laughs> but anyway. So, here is Rat Trap. And uh, let's. Get him out of his cardboard and plastic prison, and welcome to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, we got Rat Trap out of his cardboard and plastic prison, and uh, yeah, he's a tiny little dude. He's like not even Rat Trap to me. Uh, he's more of like a mouse trap. Get it? <laughs> rat Trap, mouse trap. Get it? <laughs> But anyway, uh, you do get these nice set of instructions. Same thing as you get with uh, all the other core fellas. So, shows you how to transform them. All that good stuff. And right here is the packaging. Very nice close look at packaging. You got Rat Trap right there. In his beast mode there, running. And then you got the arc right there. And crash landed. And he's War for Cybertron K2. So, yeah, Transformers Kingdom, he's a core class, a class A or whatever, <laughs> I can't, sp but anyway, on the back you got your obligatory product shots of Rat Trap, he transforms in 18 steps, uh, 18 steps for a little dude, right, <laughs> very cool, so I'm, I'm digging these, uh, the packaging of these Kingdom figures as well, so yeah, very cool, so here is Rat Trap. I would say he would be renamed Mouse Trap because he looks like a little mouse. Uh, but he does look like a rat, though. But, uh, yeah, he's a very tiny little dude. He does get his nice little blaster, which is pretty cool. Uh, size comparison right off the bat with his core mates. You got Optimus Prime. And then uh, our previous review we did with Vertebrae. See how they look together. And of course, bring in Earthrise Optimus Prime. Show you how big scale this is. So yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> Definitely pretty cool. So if you get Null in here, Null is like, mmm. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. So we'll set these guys off to the side. So the size comparison for them is pretty darn. Uh, can't really can't really tell you how much size comparison unless you just look at uh, sound barrier here. If you have a sound barrier, you'll know what you're getting into. Or unless you have Transformers, uh, what was it? Do you believe it was Titans of the Return or? Tailgate for Sask person. So yeah, that really tells you. Really tells you the size size on these guys. It's crazy. They're smaller, a lot smaller compared to the legend size. They're not not as bulky as these guys. There's like they're a little bit slimmed down. But yeah, very cool. Getting there on Rat Trap. That is the Beast Wars Rat Trap, all right. Yeah, get off my butt, boss monkey. <laughs> Got his little Maximal logos right there. You can barely see them. I'm surprised they actually put them there. And they actually have them on both sides of his arms. So, which is freaking awesome. Because of this nice little pea shooter. Might end up painting that thing uh, silver later. I don't know. But, uh, 
definitely you can see uh, his rat uh, his rat kibble. Uh, he showed his ki he had kibble in, in the show too, so he's like I'm act not actually complaining about that, but very cool. Now articulation wise, his head just is on a swivel, goes back and forth, very tight swivel. You can rotate it all the way around. Um, got ball jointed arms here. It's weird how they have his arms situated here. His arms are on a ball joint here. And then his elbow is on a ball joint as well. And then there's this hinge point due to transformation. So, nothing in the waist for him, unfortunately. Legs go out this far. Again, about back that far. Nice ball jointed knee, and they got another extra ball jointed piece due to transformation. And then same thing, you just got ball jointed articulated for the feet. So, no, no I'm not complaining. It's like the ball joints actually look. Ah, they're actually uh, everything's pretty tight on my figure. So, very nice. Not too, not lot loose. It's just uh, just sturdy enough to uh, keep them standing, which is awesome. So, so yeah, very cool, very cool indeed. Um, like I said, though, he does have some back kibble. Do you see his little rat tail right there? <laughs> so, transformation of this guy. Before we even get there, um, his weapon is the same little port. As what you get with Optimus so and then storage for his gun back here see a little slot right there just uh, peg his gun in for storage on his back so if you don't want him having his gun out you know shooting Predacons but yeah very cool little dude even down to his his little buck teeth That's funny. Alright, transform this guy. It's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and flip his head all the way around, like so. You can see the back is painted with gray. Grayish, like. Go ahead and unhook his weapon out here. We'll, we'll need it for a while. Go ahead and undo this backpack section here. Go ahead and bring this back. Fold the tail up. And clip it right there. Very cool. And then go ahead and uh, flip Rat Trap's head up. It's on a little clicky joint. Go ahead and do that at the same time. And then you want to try to pull his whole backpack section. We can see that. Pull that backpack section. And then roll it back. Like so. And then bringing it up okay next up is his arms his arms basically you want to bring them down on this hinge let them like that the same thing bring his arms down on that hinge and uh, while we're at it go ahead and rotate yeah yeah rotate his arms this way And this whole section will collapse in together. Come on, there we go. Collapse down together. And then Rat Trap has these, uh, my opinion, ah, you're supposed to keep them the other way, my bad. Anyway, there's these little uh, pat panels here. You basically want to bring his tail down and uh, put his feet out of the way just shove that arm up in there and that tab will tab into the front of his fist do it on both on mine, mine doesn't want us to keep tabbed in on this one right there, tabbed in for right now now his other legs you bring his bowl joint up. 
like this rotate rotate and then bring it up in and it rotate his foot next one bring it up rotate and we got rat trap in his rat mode mouse mode if you can uh, <laughs> very neat very cool and try to keep them tabbed in that's the one thing about this they actually did a good job you can barely see any robot kibble except for underneath of course but let alone that looks like a mouse <laughs> Now, uh, there's a clip on both sides. There's a clip right, uh, spot right here. And then the gun actually has another clip on it. You can put it on this side here. And uh, just clip it in for storage. Uh, not the best thing for me for storage, but A, it's storage. So, so yeah, there is Rat Trap. I'm... So unfortunately, I do not have the IDW version of Rat Trap. I uh, sold it to my buddy Webgear 1977, and uh, this is actually a better version of Rat Trap. Hopefully, someone makes an oversized version of this. I would definitely buy it. Definitely super cool little figure. So yeah, size so comparison. Going to bring in the uh, MicroMaster. Astro Squad, I do believe it was called. For size comparison. There we go. And if you want to, here's Sound Barrier in a Shield Mode. Shield slash Ramp Mode. See how small he is compared to him. So yeah. He's a small little dude. Definitely, they did a really good job. The sculpt on them is really nice. Looks like his head got in the his head got into something first. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. Tail don't move around, uh, moves due to transformation, but. Could have been nice he can move his tail a little bit, but. So, yeah. Very cool. Like I said, they really did a good job on him. Anyway, I'll go ahead and transform him back. And, uh, yeah, they did a really good job on this rat trap. I actually enjoy this figure. The transformation is so cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Backpack up. In this section. And his backpack's not that big actually on him. Uh, it may look like that way, but it's actually pretty cool and almost like close to screen accurate. Uh, the way his, uh, the way he looked in the show. And then, uh, go ahead and give Rat Trap his gun back. So, definitely, if anybody's watching this, definitely be pretty cool if you can actually, uh, uh, make it a little, uh, one of his, uh, detonating charges, his C4 charges, you can tab them in underneath his arm, and then, uh, and have a spot for him, he can actually hold, hold it with his little peg here, that would be pretty neat if someone actually made those, cause he, that's what he's known for, is them, them damn charges, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, very cool figure, highly recommended, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, though, this rat trap is awesome. So yeah, definitely more Kingdom action is going to be headed your way. Uh, hopefully uh, we get more Kingdom figures released by the end of the year. Who knows? Um, 
but this figure is pretty neat and I highly recommend it. So yeah. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Transaaron38, reviewing the new Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos. I do keep a lookout for any videos headed your way, and definitely don't forget to check everybody else's links down in the description down below, as well as I picked this up at cmdstore.com. Definitely check them out. Definitely highly recommended. Um, super fast shipping too. It's like very cool. They don't mess around. So definitely check out CMD Store. Their link will be down in the description down below. Uh, so hopefully. Uh, you guys can snag, like I said, they have the core, the core class kingdom figures out right now. So, and the, everything else is on pre-order. So, good luck, late, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys can do that. But everything, the link to it will be down in the description down below, as well as everybody else's channels. Definitely check them out. Give them some love. Stay safe out there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Transaron38, and it's time, maximize. <laughs>